hello guys so i have this caterpillar machine and this is what i have been able to use it to cut it with okay so let me show you how to install this one so first of all you will need this usb cable so i have plugged it in over here let me show you so you have to come just plug this one and also you plug on your machine okay then you come and also plug it on your laptop then from here you have this it normally comes with cd if you don't have it you can download it using the link in the description below okay so you open the file and you will need to do some one or two things so first of all let's go to window and search for device manager okay so when you come to device manager like this uh first of all you have to make sure uh, you come to port or other device so when you come to other device you are going to see usb cable if you don't see it there definitely it's here port okay so you see this one but make sure you update the current version okay so you can either right click on it and you click on update or you download the software it's over here okay so let me show you guys the software is over here here and here so this is the software so you have to install this one so you can search for this okay cmd2 setup okay i'll leave a link so you can download it it's a simple file just just that you have to download it and install it on your machine okay i have already installed it and also you will need this one called on mount on mount so that so you can turn your graphic card so when we open this one let me show you something over here so we have this okay so who so when i come here and open this one we have cd2 and cd1 so you have to convert this one into a cd okay cd form so you will need this software called the on mount okay so that you can convert your files into iso format okay or convert it into dex okay so afterwards after that you have all these files then we have to install the file so first of all i'll come here and then i'll come to this two then i'll click on right click and run as administrator so run as administrator then uh, next next to install it very very simple okay so next 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 then this one make sure you select access accessibility do not select zip accessibility then you click on next then it installs okay so after you've done uh, installing click on finish okay then we can go back and then open this one then you have to select all these files okay so you select all of them this one i have already done it that's why this one so otherwise the cd one won't be part okay then you right click on it so you right click on your keyboard then you see mount to new file okay or you click on mount to it no you will click on compress compress to then you uncheck everything and you, you check the iso file okay you check on that and you click on it then it is going to create this for you okay so when you are done just click on double click on it to open it okay so when you are open and it's not open just right click and you open with so open with windows so that your computer can access it all right so when you are done with it then you come and you open your file okay so you see it is over here so you double click on it to open it then you click on okay so you see that we have this that is the graphic this thing that you can use it to create so 
when um, when the software opens for you you are going to be greeted with this screen so immediately the test tool is going to be highlighted for you then you can just click or dab on your on the screen and you can start typing so pass solo solomon okay solomon all right then we can click on this or click on escape and we can make it small or bigger you can also position it we can change the font size or font type over here we can use a different font style the one with style so let me see if i can get a different style and i believe we can just use this one to change the font style or oh, is it not possible all right so this one if you want to use a specific font you can or when you are going to you see that the font start changing for you so let's see if we can get something unique let me see let me see if i can get a different font to write this okay you see that you immediately have it then we are going to do our first print out so we will go to cut out and you, you select but first of all you have to turn this one into outline mode so we have to come here all the way here we click on it but it's first telling us to select our machine okay so first of all let's come here but let me close this one first okay okay let me select the machine okay so my machine is called jack King. so this is the jacker so i'll select it and i think this is the version i have then you click on add okay so when you are done you just click on close let me close this one for now and then i will select my test highlight it then when you come here you are going to see this one called split graph so you click on that and then you keep it keep a word as a unit so you click on okay so right now it is one one so we will select all of them and then we are going to use this one to combine it okay so you see that it is together now all right then from here we can come here and output the output the selected objects only okay so we are going to have a screen all right so this is the screen then our port was three con three so i will select that and then i'll come to setup so we are going to set it up okay all right so this is it you see three three that that's okay so everything is cool here let's go to parameters eight one you take this and then you uncheck this one okay you click on okay i think everything is intact so uh, i suppose not to click on the cancel so let me see how it went okay everything is intact then you can use this one you we have to flip it so i can use this one to mirror it okay oh okay so it's supposed to be like this so don't mirror it okay and then you can also maybe if you want to print more than one copy you can just uh, put the number of copies here and then you give it interval let's say be a 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay this is in inches so it is a big bigger all right but if you are printing one just then you can make here zero zero okay all right and you can also use this one to uh, rotate it okay so then the last part or what you guys are waiting for is to come here you click on the cutout or output cutter then everything is intact so when 
I click on this, it's going to start uh, doing the thing. But first of all, you have to um, feed it with paper. So I'm going to feed it from here. So position these guys here. So let me open this and feed this one. Okay, so all right, so let's see. Start, and you can see that it is working. Wow. This is really, really amazing. Alright guys, so we've done with our first cutout. Let me see. So let me take this one out and let's see the outcome. Alright guys, so this is it. Okay, so when you have something like this, but you have to cut it out. Okay, so let me cut it out and remove it for you guys to see. All right. Alright guys, so this is what we just cut out, okay? So we are going to flip it like this and print it. But you see that we made a mistake because when we print it like this, um, so you have to flip it. Otherwise, you can't, you can't use it, okay? So this is how it's supposed to be. So let me see the one that I did earlier. Okay, so this is the um, best version or oh, this is the accurate version thank you very much for enjoying this video